this one is Roman numerals and it counts up from 1 to 12 and the thought process for this one was as time counts up and it counts down it waits for no one. I have words in Latin this is tempus nemine mani which means time waits for no one. This one is from a job for a cowboy album. Uh, this one is my second favorite. I've had an eating disorder about seven years. The symbol in the back is the national eating disorder awareness symbol. On the days where, you know, recovery seems really stupid and that I should, like, the days that I really want to go back into my behaviors, the tattoo really stops me because I think, I spent a lot of money on this. Let's not make it useless. Whenever I'm sitting and thinking about getting a tattoo, one of my thought process is how much has that impacted my life? Has it impacted my life enough to yeah. where, like, I would want it on me forever and showcase forever? Um, if the answer is yes, then I'll get it. Yeah, yeah, there is definitely like a stigma against people with tattoos. I mean, there's even stigmas against people that have like just certain piercings that I thought were considered like normal, but they're not, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, there's definitely a stigma to it. When I get into an elevator and I have a short sleeve shirt on, sometimes people, uh, <laughs> they tend to, you know, stare away like I look like I'm a, a criminal or something because that's another thing that people with tattoos have to deal with, they, they, other people see them and they think that they're a bad person or something like that. I'm really nice, so it's, it's kind of a, it sucks. There was this teacher at my high school who actually docked a girl a grade point on her senior speech because she had a tattoo showing and she said it was unprofessional. I, I do feel like that stigma is going away just because of how common tattoos have gotten over the last like 10 years, how common they are like everywhere. Once you're in a tattoo world or you know people that get tattoos and regularly tattooed, um, there se seems to be a bit of a community involvement. Um, but on top of that, there's something that you can relate to with someone, you know, if you're out um, somewhere and somebody has a tattoo and you have tattoos, it's something that you can talk about. It's a topic already that you can share. If it's going to be permanent, you have to have some sort of friendship and the community within the area, otherwise you're going to regret it. A lot of the, my old tattoo artists, um, I used to go out and drink with them all the time. And I didn't even know them prior to getting tattoos with them. I just found out they were really cool people. All of the things that I put on my body are things to help me. So I don't think that they're actually gonna, like I don't think I'm gonna regret them, but there's always the chance that the meaning behind them might change for me. Around my wrists, I wanna do video game tattoos, like weapons, and um, more music ones for sure, uh, some comic book ones definitely, and some more anime ones. A bunch of nerd shit, pretty much, is, is what I want. Me, my sister, and our other sister have been planning on getting matching tattoos. Maybe another chest tattoo on my left side, too. People with tattoos actually love talking about their tattoos. Like, I mean, that's the reason why we kind of get them like, on our arms and so really show them off and brag about them. So, for anyone that wants to like ask about them, I'm pretty sure none of us would ever have any problems like talking about them or like sharing it or experiences. You see something or a piece of art and you just want it on you forever.